that uh, one, the, the individuals of His Excellency the President, the CS, then the institutions, because really this is in, an institutional matter. It's about a ministry, it's about the presidency, then it's about investigating and, uh, of course, prosecuting authorities. Mm. So people need to come to the fore and uh, own up and then action that needs to be done needs to be seen to be to be done all right so the cs's job might be on the line and maybe one might take that those two public outbursts by the president could be warnings yep. could be two very sound warnings to him if nothing is done then he'll have to suffer the consequences mm. and of course uh, your guess is as good as mine as to what those consequences might be <laughs> but also before we move on from the front page yeah. a case that many have been following up on and sharon murder d-day for obado on bail application today the uh, Migori governor gets to find out if he will be allowed out on uh, bail or uh, he stays behind bars as uh, investigations continue and the case of course uh, we wait for the conclusion yeah this is quite unfortunate I would say at two levels one to the family of Sharon may her soul rest in peace having been buried last weekend mm. and indeed two to the constitutional issues around uh, accused persons right to bail and all these matters but uh, probably the third thing would be those who, uh, other people might say that the, the governor could be reading a lot of politics but the question is institutional independence so that then we we take away judiciary or the courts from the politics mm -hmm. and uh, it's happening today we wait to see how it goes um, because this is a, a really a pure test of our constitution you know right of arrested persons right to bail and what the underlying issues are oh. your, your, your station has been doing us very a great favor to tell us what's going on what's at the courts and yes, I think uh, definitely been at the yeah, heart of a lot of issues that can be read out of what is even um, taking place in the courts. Absolutely. Yeah. And another story that, uh, of course, many have been following up on again is on the front page of uh, the Standard uh, and on page four. GSU commando now witness in Joey case. And of course, this is the murder most foul of Monica Kimani. And we do know what has been going on again. This is another case that we have kept our eyes on. But the GSU officer may now turn to be a witness as opposed opposed to being one of the suspects of the murder. And that's, of course, another story that we're following up on. Uh, but away from that, yeah. still on page four, Uhuru gives $21 billion for cheap housing project. Again, this is the Jubilee agenda. Um, affordable housing is one of the things that they want to be remembered for in this particular term. And $21 billion released by the president yesterday. And this is to go towards affordable housing uh, construction. Um, some progress there? Uh quite some progress but i think the question should be affordability yes we're saying it's affordable housing uh, i think what we therefore need to delve deeper into is looking at the process of uh, acquiring these houses mm. this is in my view not the first time we are seeing this happening we've seen uh, institutions coming up to be able to have uh, housing projects in the country mm. but i think for the first time the government has taken it as a as a big agenda and i think uh, the government is also interested in the in the dignity of the people if you were to look at uh, maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs hierarchy. that mm -hmm. really housing then becomes one of those key issues mm. but i think looking at our population as a country against um, the gap between the rich and the poor. I'm interested in looking at how the government is going to make these uh, houses as affordable to a number of citizens. Uh, not, of course, looking at uh, the, mo the, mo the mortgaging uh, regime that we have in our country today against insurance and against you know, um, income that most of the middle class are also receiving, and indeed against the kind of uh, demolitions that we are seeing happening in the country and against the outcry of the public. So I think the government, as much as we have the big four agenda and housing being one of them, needs to come out to engage the citizens in a public participation process because indeed that is also their constitutional right. It doesn't have to be seen as a government project. And so people waiting there for government to put houses forth and then saying, the government saying these houses come and occupy them but i think from the onset the process needs to be as open so that we also know the sources of this funding because there are lots of fears around the chinese investments in this country mm. and so all these things the ripple effect in my view would be sustainability